How do I look? Great. Approximately 2,400 years before Vito Acconci, a fixture of every contemporary art textbook, masturbated for eight hours a day underneath the gallery floor while his spoken fantasies about the visitors walking above him were heard through loudspeakers. Diogenes was masturbating, urinating, and defecating in public at every opportunity. He advocated for consensual sex and cannibalism. He advocated for absolute shamelessness. Everything you can do in private, you can do in public. To Diogenes, this is what it means to live in a completely natural way. Far from being obscene, his teachings could be seen as holy. After all, Adam and Eve were shamelessly copulating and evacuating their bowels in the Garden of Eden before they doomed themselves by discovering humanity's first form of technology, the apple. I first learned of Diogenes while reading How to Do Nothing by Jenny O'Dell, a title that attracted me because I desperately want not only to justify doing nothing, but to learn how to do nothing. Diogenes' philosophy offers an antidote to burnout, exhaustion, fatigue, and the constant need to maximize every moment to its fullest. My worth is in my work. If I am not working, I am fulfilling my promise to myself. I am not fulfilling my promise. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How is that going, though? It's going okay, great. Let's... Okay, I'll keep going. Should I keep going? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if I am not working, I am fulfilling my promise to myself. Damn it! If I am not working, I am not fulfilling my promise to myself, to, in Adrian Rich's words, playing my education. In this society, we are taught that there is nothing worse than not living up to your full potential. And somehow we are taught that there is nothing worse than not living up to your full potential. Oh no, I can't see with my hair like this. In America, no. In this society, we are taught that there is nothing worse than not living up to your full potential. And somehow we have convinced ourselves that you are a failure if you are jobless, living in your mother's basement, watching movie after movie after movie. But you are a success if you are rising in the ranks of a company that is indirectly or directly participating in slavery and the destruction of the environment. My favorite illustration of the emptiness of business is from Louise Navia's biography of Diogenes, Diogenes of Sinope, the man in the tub, referring to his permanent residence. When news came to the Corinthians that Philip and the Macedonians were approaching the city, the entire population became immersed in a flurry of activity, some making their weapons ready, or wheeling stones, or patching the fortifications, or strengthening a battlement, everyone making himself useful for the protection of the city. Diogenes, who had nothing to do and from whom no one was willing to ask anything, as soon as he noticed the bustle of those surrounding him, began at once to roll his tub up and down the cranium with great energy. When asked why he did so, his answer was, just to make myself look as busy as the rest of you. Diogenes is an art doer. He created situations and dynamics that show us the truth, or at least a truth. Reality is unconventional. Diogenes refused to live within the system he was born into, the system of civilization that we are all involuntarily born into, a matrix of people thinking prescribed thoughts and blindly fulfilling their formulaic life. He did not allow the fear of being unlikable, interfered with, or objected to stop him from living his own life. In fact, he urinated on his objectors. Perhaps, to paraphrase Mike Kelly, one serves the community best by being the worst citizen. 
neoliberal society violates us with a deep drive to work ourselves to death, controlling us by leveraging our deepest fear, being unloved and lovable. Shit. <laughs> You can learn it from me or countless new age YouTube affirmation videos. Our right to exist is unconditional and we are lovable because we exist. No need to prove anything. But before class is over, I want to go over your homework assignments. Practice inefficiency. Be a dedicated truant. Get rejected every day. Neglect your studies in order to exist. Fall in and out of love like a window that is two feet off the ground. It's over. <laughs>